So in this video I'm going to be comparing my 2015 MacBook Pro against the 2021 framework laptop. So they're very similar in terms of a size, so they're going after a similar sort of uh, group of people I think. This is very much how the framework is styled. It's aluminium, it's a Windows machine, um, PC machine rather, um, and obviously we've got the Apple MacBook which is a Apple machine. So I wanted to compare just how they looked. Um, so we've got, I think this is kind of a good comparison to do because um, this is the sort of thing that would be, this would be looking to supersede, I guess, or to replace. And uh, it has obviously these ports on it that are similar to the way the framework has uh, modular ports at the moment. So, anyway. We've got um, the SD card slots, we've got HDMI slots, we've got USB-A slots. We've also got um, the MagSafe port for charging. We've got two uh, mini display ports and a USB-A on this side as well. And the headphone jack. So, on the framework, you have these modular ports, so you can actually put in anything you want. So on mine, I have a USB-C, I have the HDMI, um, and then we obviously have the only port that is staying in the framework that you can't take out that isn't modular, um, is the headphone jack. On the other side, we have USB-A and USB-C. So, um, Another thing here is the charging, so if I pull out the framework charger here, so it comes with a little power brick like this, it's with the framework styling on it there, let's get rid of this because that's nothing to do with this, um, and then you get this right angled USB-C. Now this is actually, I found over the course of using it, pretty stiff to plug in um, and uh, you can see when I plug it in there it lights up and if I so decided to plug it in the other side it would light up as well so you got charging on either side which is kind of nice switch that back a bit so this is I've said on another video this is a GAN charger. I'm not quite sure what that stands for, but it means it's very small. You can see that's diddy, and it's quite a long cable that we've got here. The chargers that you get with the more recent MacBook Pros are kind of stingy because although what I'm now going to show you for the 2015 one, so this is the 2015 uh, MagSafe charger, and this. It's obviously very nice because it's magnetic, we can plop it on, you can charge, you can take it out. So I quite liked having this um, ability on my MacBook, and you can see that it goes different colour when it's charging. But we cannot plug it in the other side, we don't have that option. And with the ports on the MacBook, we are limited to having certain ones on certain sides but what we also have is we have more so we have three on this side and the charger and the headphone and we have three on this side so quite a lot more than you have available on the framework one of the things i wonder is why there is not more ports here because i wonder if you could actually fit two usb c here like it seems possible because it's not that wide. I would imagine there's some kind of like tolerances um, at bay here to do with like the edges and how how close the ports can come to the edge of that. But I kind of think you could have got more on each of them, and therefore you'd have you know quite a, quite a variety available at any given time. Um, the other thing is that obviously. When this is plugged in and charged in, you only have a single bay available. Now, on the framework, these ports are modular. So, if I click that, and they're quite stiff. 
but they actually come out and you can click them in any way you want. So if I wanted to have these two the other way around, then that's possible. Like that. So that's kind of cool, but that's that's one of Frameworks' big kind of selling points. I think is uh, let's move these back to center here. So something I noted uh, with getting this is that actually the framework is slightly smaller. So you can see on this side, it's slightly smaller than the um, MacBook. And the MacBooks these days, the 2021 ones are the same size as the 2015 ones. Um, and that means that this is actually a different screen aspect ratio. So it is three by two instead of, I think 16 by nine, is it? Um, which means that you end up with a taller screen, which is billed as quite a good thing for programming and um, tasks where you require a lot of rows on the screen, but it's perhaps not as great for, say, viewing media, which MacBooks are generally geared towards content creators and people are doing things like that. And so that's kind of an interesting difference between the two. A um, couple of other differences here. The MacBook Pro has quite a sturdy lid. So once it's open, it will stay like stiff. So these are kind of some of the physical differences we're talking about now. So this is going to stay and if I shake the table or anything like that, there's other things on my table moving about, but that screen is not going anywhere. It's quite stiff. Whereas I find on the framework here, this hinge that is on it, um, it's quite wobbly. So you can see that it's bouncing around quite a bit. My table was bouncing quite a bit because it's not sturdy. And you can see it's there's been there's actually been a few complaints on the forum and they've had to send out different hinges for people to have. And um, this was part of the DIY kit they have, so I didn't um, have that issue. But this sort of sturdiness is what you'd be expecting. So you can see it there how how floppy it is. Um, let me just do a similar sort of test on that one there. So you can see it's moving, but not as, uh, not as, don't side by side, shall we? So yeah, obviously this has got all kind of seal components and glue and everything going on there. Um, and this one hasn't. Anyway, some more differences. Let's have a look. Um, what can I say? One other thing is when opening these, this uh, framework is quite difficult to get open. So it does open from shut, but actually getting your finger in there, that's not easy. Like I often have to kind of grab it with two hands and back. Whereas the, one of the MacBook things is obviously you can just easy. This, not so much, my finger slips off. I can't get in there. I have to kind of be a bit more careful about what I'm doing. Um, some other things. Um, the keyboard layout, you've got these strange kind of, these are British layout. The MacBook's obviously international, I think, um, but I'm in the UK. I've opted for a British layout here. So you can see the key differences on some of these here. But one of the things to say is between different versions, because of the way that the um, shell of the framework has been adopted for use in different places, this these keys are arranged differently. So I think there's a smaller bit on the top it for a US layout with this kind of lowered half key here. And I just find that a little bit weird, like having a key that isn't a key. It's strange having come from MacBook. I've seen it on other Windows laptops as well. 
so it's not that big of an issue I suppose. Um, another thing is you can actually fold this all the way down it's 180 whereas you cannot do that on the MacBook which sounds kind of cool um, and I think probably final thing to say would be just the cameras here so um, we've got a lock on these here that we can um, turn these on and off so that people can't pry and look at us when we're using them. Under Geekbench my dual core 2015 MacBook Pro came up with a score, single core score of 683 and a multi core score of 1609. The framework laptop is 4 core and 8 thread and it had a single core score of 1096 and a multi core score of 4252. And I've also included my M1 Mac Mini which has the same processor as the Air and has a single core score of 1752 and a multi-core score 7748 so you're sacrificing something in terms of performance in order to gain the upgradability that the framework has so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video um i just thought it was interesting looking at some of these differences i suppose one other further one that we have uncovered is that the uh, 2015 has had, got a light in the back of the machine for this apple logo um i haven't covered any of the os differences because i think that's a completely different kettle of fish um and if you want to see uh, more videos on the framework or on um, my setups and what I use for programming, then subscribe to the channel um, and I will see you soon in a new video. Okay, bye. <laughs>